to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. For glory, deserving of all worship. Are you giving him praise? Father, we thank you for the miracles. We thank you for the mighty and marvelous manifestations of your hand. We thank you. No man can do these things except God be with him. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord in as much as we expect him to move and to do great and mighty things in our midst. Um, it is important to first pay attention to what God has done. And then you can release your faith for what he wants to do. Are we together? Is there a grateful person in this place? One more time. I'd like you to give Jesus a big shout of praise. Hallelujah. As I sat back quietly, you would notice I, I was not, it was almost as if I was not in the service because I came with a burden in my heart one to see god's people experience his power and his grace but number two i came with a determination in my heart um, to see to it that every long-standing issue <laughs> issues that have refused to give up issues that have been there the doors are called ancient doors but that under a certain condition, they can lift up their heads. In one minute, I'd like you to pray. You pray about so many things, but pray that every long-standing issue that has refused to bow to the name of the Lord, let this be the season that it must give up over my life. Go ahead and pray. Pray. All our viewers are around the world connecting by faith. Make sure that you are also praying. Every long standing issue. The Lord summons you tonight. Someone is praying. Long standing issue. You bow to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
that that Shekinah, it is the desire of God that that glory blankets the nations from city to city and from continent to continent. Let it cover all. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. You see, let me tell you something with worship. Worship can take away falsehood from you in prayer. Because there are times you come to God with all kinds of human calculations and in worship just takes you over. There are times that your emotions are so connected to what you are doing. You are no longer conscious of what I wore, what I bought. You don't know when you can, whether it's to lie down or roll before him. Worship purifies your desire. I do not know one great man who truly walks in the miraculous and in signs and wonders who ignores this mystery of heartfelt worship blessed is he who comes in the name of our God just help those under the anointing blessed is he who comes in the name of our God holy holy Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Many years ago, I was in a meeting in Kaduna and it was under such an intense atmosphere of the spirit. And while we worshipped, just forgetting ourselves in his presence. You see, most, let me tell you, the reason why most people do not experience God is we're in a hurry for everything. In a hurry for everything. God, come sharp, sharp. Bless me sharp, sharp and leave sharp, sharp. have my everything you have my everything it was in that meeting this song came you have my everything you have my everything take all of me all of me Lord you have my everything take all of me all of me Lord you have my everything take all of me all of me lord you have my everything anoint my everything use my everything i release my everything you have my everything take all of me all of me lord you have my everything take all of me all of me lord you have my everything take all of me all of me all of me lord you have my everything take all of me all of me lord Take all of me, 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 all because you are not just singing a special number you have not even started praying you decided to set that atmosphere correct
correcting things. Sing and worship over your sick patient. And you will watch him arise like the mighty God. Correcting things. It only works for those who engage it. Not those who know about it. Heartfelt worship. Heartfelt worship. Heartfelt worship. That you stretch in that atmosphere. You see, one of the reasons, hold on please, we're going to pray shortly. One of the reasons why I always suggest the night, is not a ritual, but you see, most times in the day we are distracted. Before you even kneel down, a call has come with all kinds of things. So many people are awake, sometimes they can just be distractions. But in the night where everybody is asleep, just you and your Savior, the maker of your destiny, it's not only the heavens and the earth he makes. Kenneth Copeland met with Bishop Oyedepo and he said, you claim that we are the ones who taught you on the subject of faith and church growth and all of these things. How come God has so honored you like this? And Bishop Oyedepo replied, he said to him, in addition to the things we have learned from you, <clears throat> I sang and I danced every one of these people to this place. Worship. Worship. And th 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 there is an exchange that happens in the place of worship. Your weakness for his strength. Your limitation for his power. You will never leave the place of worship the way you went. Please hear what I'm telling you. This is one of the ways I prepare for the miracle service. And you are there just saying, Lord, I'm singing to you. If you do not help me, I cannot. I can't help the, the people are coming with challenges world over. What strength do I have to help them? And that Shekinah comes to mantle you. And you come out endued with power. Power with proof. Are you learning? The second component, as far as creating that climate for the miraculous, is heartfelt worship. Number three, the last, and then we'll pray. I'm already sensing a very strong anointing here. I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. I am under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me yeah. I am under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me oh. The third component that creates the atmosphere for the supernatural is faith. Faith. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 58. Faith. Mm. There will be such a move of the Spirit in this place tonight. Such a move of the Spirit in this place. Matthew chapter 13. Please, I want you to bring the following people out now. I'm seeing, I just saw light from all the in the main auditorium and all of the overflows and the lord is telling me there is something that is coming upon them help them bring them out oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 o
strings. Play the guitar for me. Hey, 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 hey. There are still more people you're bringing out. I'm seeing a book open before me. And I'm seeing a hand pointing on that book. And God is saying, it's the season of these people. There is something he's doing. Seasons. Your season. There's nothing that will stop it. When God has opened that, the season is open. Bring them out. Oh, 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 oh. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Hallelujah. Who is Jeremiah? I'm hearing a name Jeremiah. Who is Jeremiah? Is there a gentleman called Jeremiah? You're wearing a t-shirt. Jeremiah. Is there someone like that? Jeremiah. What's your name? Come. I want to pray for you. Halandes Calibra Katosh Calibri There is a man of God here. You are stepping into the prophetic. There is, I, I just saw like an eagle. And every time I see that, this is a symbolism of the prophetic. The Lord has been training you. You do not even know that he's calling you into the prophetic ministry. In the name of Jesus, may that hand from Zion rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Jeremiah, in the name of Jesus, you two stand here where they are here. I want to pray for them now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree and I declare, my God, I'm seeing light coming upon you. And the Lord is saying, he's shifting you to new levels. This is what I'm hearing. Don't ask how it will happen. It will happen by the Spirit of God. I release that anointing upon you right now. Take that grace. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hela de kadu sabran de gabarush kalikata. Please don't lose focus over what God is doing. Shale gabarush kiata. Gran de kadusia. I'm seeing an anointing coming on this, my people. Lift your hands. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, take that grace by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, new dimensions of power. The Lord is bringing you into new seasons. New seasons of grace. New seasons. New seasons of power. New seasons. In the name of Jesus. New seasons of authority. The spirit of delay is about to leave now. The spirit of delay. I'm about to declare. Please bring those people outside. Everyone under the apakatos kata. Under the yoke of delay. At the count of three. Shout the name Jesus. Are you ready? One. Two. Three. Shout Jesus. I cast that spirit now. Delay. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring them out. Delay. 
delayed destiny delay of the manifestation of the hand of God upon your life Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Yahweh oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Yahweh Hallelujah. I'm seeing a man here. This man is a military officer. I'm not, you, you don't have to be wearing a uniform. This man, you are in the military. I don't know who that person is. Whether you are in here or outside, I can, I can presume that there are so many people, but this, this is someone, you are a military officer. I want to pray for you. You are not wearing, you are wearing mufti, but you are a military officer. Who is that person? Alandas kalika rushka de brahaska da la kaparuze embrakato shalina kaparuze. Is he a military officer? Where? Hold on, please. Two of them? Okay. You were saying something. You are a military officer. You are a military officer, sir? Yes. Where, yes. sir? In Kaduda. I want to pray for you. Please just bring them out. Something is happening here. I'm seeing something that is very strange. I'm seeing the right hand of people on fire. And the Lord is telling me he's placing something upon that hand. Just the right hand. This will happen all over the congregation now. Like the right hand of people literally burning with fire. Literally burning with fire. And the Lord is placing something of substance and glory upon your hand. Madam, this woman on red, lift your hand. I'm seeing an angel pour oil on you. I stretch my hands. Take that grace now. Bring her out. There is an anointing that is coming on the worship team. The Lord is, I'm seeing you people climb ladders. And the Lord is saying, he's about to announce some of you. There are some of you in a strange way. He's about to, Aparaka Toskedina Katia. Locating you and lifting you. It will happen by the Spirit. <laughs> Madam, where are you coming from? Hold on, please. Where are you coming from? You are in this Abuja. I want to pray for you. Listen to me. Your days of crying has come to an end in this country. I don't know you. But the hand of the Lord came upon you. And I'm prophesying to you. That that which makes for shame and reproach. My God is taking away from your life. <laughs> Sir. This man. Lift your right hand. Shout Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That name. There is an anointing that has come on you. I'm seeing the Lord is shifting you to a deeper dimension of wealth. This is what I'm seeing. Deeper dimension of wealth. I pray for you, the military officers. I don't know why God asks that I send for you, but I stretch my hands right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. May that grace rest upon you to be located and to be lifted. To be located and to be lifted. Let me prophesy to someone here. Whatever cloud has covered your glory. So that those to see you do not see you. To place a demand on that grace. As I pray right now, fire is going to come on people. I decree and declare. I tear that veil now. I tear that I command that veil be torn now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm hearing a name, Faustina. 
Is it Faustina? Faustina or Faustina? Faustina. I'm hearing a name Faustina. Is there someone with that name? Faustina. Please verify. Don't make sure that. Where are you coming from? Abuja here. Faustina. Hmm. I am not one person who stands to give prophecies and all of that. I'm not ready for people's trouble. But I just saw something right now. What is the symbol of the judiciary? Huh? We have to pray. That balancing scale, eh? I just saw it in a vision and I saw it fall to the ground and break. We have to pray for the judiciary in this nation. Something is happening very seriously. This is what I just saw. I would not say this if God did not ask me to say it. Like I said, I'm not, I don't want people to come and be debating and talking nonsense. I don't have that time. But I want you to write this down. Write this down. I don't come out and speak stupidly. I saw that balancing scale of the judiciary just fall to the ground to break. That means God is saying something is wrong. We have to pray seriously. Are we together? Kenneth. 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 I'm hearing the name Kenneth. Kenneth. You are wearing a white dress. Kenneth. Is there someone like that? Kenneth. Kenneth. My dear, place your hand on your stomach. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, they will not tell you fibroid is growing in your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse it right now. Kenneth, I want to pray for you. Madam, this woman, come. Your season has come. Stretch your hands. The spirit that is back of the challenges in your life, in the name of Jesus, it comes under arrest right now. I'm seeing fire burning you from head to toe. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I curse you by the God of heaven. Let her go. For upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and even holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession be released right now we release the sound of the heavens sound of creation Yahweh is he we release the sound of the heaven sound of creation Yahweh is he we release We cry holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua Shekinah is He. We cry holy, 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 holy unto Yeshua Shekinah is He. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. But Ken, my own Ken, I know you are a pastry chef, but I'm seeing the Lord move you and connect you to another like a like a bigger hotel i'm seeing that anointing is on you it's coming on you and the lord is saying he's connecting you in a strange way you will marvel and wonder at what god will do through you in this city it is the anointing what do you do my friend ah huh? are you a student yes sir but you know you have the destiny of a man of God. Yes, sir. He's called you into ministry. Yes, sir. But you are in a season of training. Yes, sir. Be careful with wrong associations. Eh? God will help you. But all this overzealous thing in ministry, don't waste your time. Just focus and let God build you to be a solid vessel. Can I pray for you? Yes, Lift sir. your hand. I pray that the anointing that makes for encounters, may that grace right now come upon you in the name of Jesus. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. This man, please tap him for me. Where are you coming from, sir? 
What do you do? Don't be embarrassed. I'm a pastor. I'm doing a little business. <laughs> My friend, look at me. Um, man of God. I will... Please look at me, sir. Don't be embarrassed, but I will link you to somebody to help you. Hold on. I'm, I'm, help, help is not... Help means with what I'm seeing, huh? Don't be embarrassed, but this is not ministry. There needs to be a total over, Like, complete... This is... Don't be embarrassed like I said. I believe that God brought you to help you. You see, you can be in error sincerely. You, you get what I'm saying now? You can be incomplete. If I intend to go to Lagos and I turn towards Kaduna and I fire on four cylinders, I'm sincere, but I'm on my way going somewhere else. And in meetings like this, I'm not, you know, we are not a family that condemns and point fingers at people. Are we together? Once the hearts of people are open, God is willing to help them. But I need to pray for you. Man of God, look at me. I love you with all my heart, but something needs to leave you now. I stretch my hands. I curse that spirit. Lift your hands. Right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let him go. In the name of Jesus, let this be the beginning of a new season for him. Now, in the name of Jesus, and you, my friend, this man, I'm seeing something come out of you. In the name of Jesus, release him now by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In Jesus' name I pray. Be gone from him. I'm not, I'm praying against something I'm seeing. Let it leave you now in the name of Jesus. So this man of God, I will link him up to someone who will just help you. The Lord will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please be silent, everybody. Just bring all the people who start shouting now under the anointing. Please bring them out. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Hmm. There will be many, many of them. I'm literally seeing... It's like a smoke, just smoke, cloud of smoke, just moving all the overflows everywhere. Please bring them out. And I will restore, 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 and I will restore. No power will hold you down. And I will restore. Someone, you are a foreigner. You are not a Nigerian. You came in here and I will restore. That anointing is touching you right now. Please, don't you think we are wasting our time here? God is visiting people. Definite visitations is giving people tonight. Let them go right now. Release their destinies by the power of the Holy Spirit. We're already entering the deliverance session right now. Usually I will ask the instruments to play, but the Lord is telling me to shut everything down. I'm praying. I told you it's not about the ritual of it. It's about alignment. Now please hear me. I'm seeing two words written. And the Lord is saying, as soon as I announce that word, all those who have been victims of it, that deliverance fire is coming upon them. Two words. I'm seeing one reproach. I'm seeing one shame. These two words. Right now, I stretch my hands. Everyone here. Kabari Katoshia. Bring them out. The power of God is bringing deliverance right now. For individuals and for families. Shame and reproach. That everything that makes for shame and everything that makes for reproach, it comes under arrest now. There is a lady, there is a mighty deliverance coming for you. You are a foreigner, you are not a, you are not a Nigerian. You came here in the name of Jesus. I don't know where you are, but let that fire touch you right now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please play the strings for me. There is an anointing that is breaking business failure right now. This is what I'm seeing. Of course, I know everybody, but there are people who are calling to this and there are people who there are yokes that are holding their hands down. You will be surprised to see what happens now as I pray. In the name that is above all names, at the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. Everyone here involved in business of any sort and it looks like the devil has held on to you. This is koinonia. This is the house of God. At the count of three, I bring you victory and liberty. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Bring them out. Babu wani kamaruka Ya Yesu Babu wani kamaruka Babu wani kamaruka Ya Yesu Babu wani kamaruka Babu wani kamaruka Ya Yesu, babu wani kamarka. This is very strange. This will be the first time I'm seeing this happen. Usually when the Lord wants to touch states, the map of Nigeria would appear and then a hand would point to me the states that the Lord wants to visit. And I'm seeing an anointing and I'm seeing plateau states. This is, I'm seeing the anointing just touching and bringing visitation to people. Now, you belong to that region here. The power of God is touching you and then extending to all those who are connected. In the name of Jesus, I declare, let this happen by the Spirit now. Let this happen by the Spirit now. Let this happen by the Spirit now. I'm taking in a vision, the same map is open to me and I'm seeing a hand touch emo state. Right now I stretch my hands, emo. Anyone who, help them please. This is a sign and a wonder how God does these things. That all those who are connected to that territory, something miraculous begins to happen. Madam, this woman, no, not the back, this one, lifting her hands now. This one. Where are you coming from? Plateau State. Huh? I'm from Abuja here, but I'm from Plateau State. I want to pray for you. Your life is about to change. You believe that? Yes, sir. What do you do? I work in a non-governmental organization. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. There is an anointing. Leave her, leave her. I'm going to speak to her too. Where are you coming from? Huh? Abuja here. I want to pray for you. Will you be embarrassed if I talk to you? The Lord wants to take bad luck from your life. I'm looking at you, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a human being with no face. And the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. Let me pray for someone here. If there is anything that has taken away your identity in the realm of the spirit, because you see your identity is what distinguishes you in the name of Jesus Christ let there be restoration now help her please restoration now in the name of Jesus this is my sister I stretch my hands towards you and I pray may God lift you in a way that will surprise you in the name of Jesus Christ, may God lift you in a way that will surprise you. There's someone you've been having severe pain who will soon begin to pray for the sick. Severe abdominal pain. This thing started October or November last year and it has not left you. The pain is there, severe, sharp, severe pain. 
the power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus, release her now. Release her now. Release her now. I have searched and searched all the earth. Searched and searched all the earth and found that Bawani Kamaraka. I have searched and searched all the earth. Searched and searched all the earth and found that Bawani Kamaraka. No one like you, Jesus. No one like you. No one like you, say no one like you. No one like you, Father. No one like you, Master. You're the God of everything. No one like you. Your faith in God and your faith in the vessel that he uses is the third key that connects you. Third key that connects you supernaturally to the power of God. Now I want to minister deliverance by the power of God. Listen to me. What is deliverance? It's a separation between you and the obstacle. It does not necessarily have to be a spirit. Most times, it's a spirit. The gentleman holding the passport, come. Come. Please hurry up, we have to, we have to rush. Ah. Who is this King of glory? The Lord. The Lord mighty in battle, amen. Where are you coming from? From Abuja, here. I want to pray for you. As I saw you lifting that passport, the Lord said, I should use it as a sign to release your entire family. Uh, where are you from? Not where you are. You're... I'm from Imo State, sir. Imo State? Yes, sir. Lift your hands. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, amen. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever, amen. I stretch my hands my friend in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may that anointing come upon you for the sake of your family members whether they are following or not in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I bring liberty right now passport is a token that gives access therefore every door that has been closed over you and over your family according to the word of the Lord you are given unrestrained access right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Now let me pray for you. Hmm. Separation. Most of us, like I was sharing when I was giving the charge, there are spirits that are back of the many symptoms we call problems. The symptoms are there, but let me tell you sincerely, it is not just the financial problem or the marital problem, or the whatever problem. Most times, there are spirits that are back of it. Jesus said, lose hand, I mean, he um, it, it told the woman who was bound that she should be loose from her infirmity for 18 years. When she was loose, then he laid hands on her and the healing happened. The healing would not happen if the spirit is there. 
So I want to pray for you now. You will be surprised that for some of you, even before we begin to pray for the sick, and let me tell you this, when it is time for testimonies, testimonies is not only for healing. Some of you, under the anointing here, you get up and find out that something has happened to you. When it is time for testimonies, you can join them too. And let's hear what God is doing in your life. It's just that there's no time. That's why we just limit it to healing miracles alone. But there are some of you, once you came here, you would be surprised that things would just shift like that. I hope you came with something as a point of contact tonight. Remember, don't worry. A time will come, we'll lift it. But now I want to pray. For as long as I live, the devil will not find peace. As long as I live, Nina Kane, you have bought me with a price, Nina Kane. That as long as I live, Nina Kane, you have bought me with a price, Nina. Do you know why I sang that song? If I buy something and you come and hold it to take it away, what are you called? One more time, what are you called? If this body belongs to the Lord and another spirit wants to come and cohabit, deliverance is simply asking the landlord to claim ownership. Landlord, rest upon your property. So that everything that is not you, when you see empty houses that are unoccupied, people can come and squat there temporary. But when the owner of the house comes and he wants to find his place, every squatter will go out. I want to pray for you now. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. And as you shout that name, please, I want you to help those under the anointing and then bring them out. We're going to be very fast here. There are spirits sitting on the destinies of men. There are spirits responsible for disfavor, responsible for wickedness. There are spirits responsible for all kinds of atrocities. We want to bring them under arrest now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I decree and declare by the anointing that breaks the yoke, by the spirit of grace every family here represented all our viewers following from across the globe following from your homes if there be any entity that is not of the Christ causing all kinds of problems as you shout that name make sure you shout it those who are following from your homes everywhere that the power of God right here on ground and through the airwaves will rest upon you and bring that permanent separation. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One, two, my God. Three, shout Jesus. Release their destinies now. Please bring them out. Release them now. Release their destinies now. Powers of witchcraft. Powers in the air, territorial spirits sitting upon the destinies of men. Bring them out very quickly. In the name of Jesus, we arrest you now. We arrest you now. We arrest you now. We arrest you now. Please, whether you are an usher or not, just help the ushers. I'm sure their hands are limited. Whether you are an usher or not, someone is under the anointing. You can do well to just help them bring them to the front so that we'll save time. We are still going to pray. There are families under all kinds of yokes. You will still shout that name again. This time around, not just for yourself, but for everyone connected to you. So that even if they could not make it for your sake. Are you ready now? Father, visit families. May your fire and your anointing burn off altars that are speaking against the glorious destinies of families at the count of three one 
two, three, shout Jesus. We set altars on fire in the name of Jesus Christ. We set yokes on fire. Let them go. Let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let them go. Open your mouth in one minute and begin, begin to declare your release. I declare liberty in the name of Jesus will never be a victim of any orchestration of foundations, yokes of darkness, manipulations of witchcraft. Is someone praying? Release your children. Release your destiny. Please pray. Release your ministry. Release your business. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me two families. You are from Kogi State. The Lord is taking away the spirit of death. I'm seeing this, my God. Parakatosia, wherever that family is, represented in whoever, whichever individual is here, I command that sword of death to be averted from your family now. Ah, 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 ah. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. hallelujah now i'm seeing there is someone you've been trusting god for a visa to meet with your spouse abroad and you've not been able to have that visa this has been for a while is do we have someone like that here it's time for you to go now come please make sure you verify Spouse, spouse, spouse. Give this man the mic. Let me. Don't. How long? Three years. You've not seen your wife? Yes. Where is she? She's in Poland. And I came here for a visa. And I was denied. Ah. Where are you coming from, sir? Huh? Lagos. Lagos. Yes, sir. Your spouse? My spouse is now in US. Your cousin? My wife is in US. Is in US? Yes, sir. And you've not been allowed to go and meet her? Yes, sir. Do you believe in miracles? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not saying if you are looking for a visa, it's good for us to listen. We're in a prophetic atmosphere. So please make sure you understand what we're saying. Spouse means someone you are married, you are married to that you help, help her now. Your name is to be hallowed. <laughs> Madam, this woman, please tap her for me. You believe in miracles? Yes, Lift your hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus. 
I want to pray for you. Listen, the Bible says the heart of a king is in the hand of the Lord. And like the waves of the sea, God will toss it here and there. It is not spirits and angels that are in the visa offices. They are human beings. And in as much as they have a modus operandi, let me tell you, God is able to show mercy and to grant you grace. We are not praying here as a way of downplaying the due process. No, we are people of order. But I am telling you that God is able to step in. And many of you will be surprised. Who is doing an appeal? You are the one doing an appeal. Your paper is behind Your here. paper is there. Go and bring it. I want to pray on it. Your name is to be honored. Now let me pray for all of you in the name of Jesus. Two of you right now, the power of God is coming on you. This is, I saw something that just came from the earth into you. And the Lord is saying it must live. Two of you among those standing here, I stretch my hands. I don't know what demonic thing came from whose village for whatever reason. But in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, it must let you go now. Two of you, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Please help that woman so she doesn't fall with her child. Out of her now. Out now. Ah, 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 ah. Please lift this man up for me. Sir, look at me. Where are you from? I'm from Lagos. State of origin? Edo State. I want to pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed. This is a family that loves you. The kind of witchcraft I'm seeing on you. Because I'm seeing you inside a coffin. This is what I'm seeing. I'm not even, it's not even that somebody from the realm of, I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm going to pray for you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a man who is already here. And I'm seeing the month of July. You are on your way towards Auchi. And I'm seeing an accident. Yet the thing has already finished. I stand by the God of heaven who called me. And I decree and declare right now. Oh death, hear the word of the Lord. Let him go now. I command that spirit, help him, out of him, now! If there is anyone here, the pronouncement of death or a programming upon your life, you are walking but already it looks like you've been finished from the realm of the spirit. We have been given authority even over the grave. Right now I pray. Anyone here appointed unto death, be delivered from death now. Can I surprise you? The person who will help you is here now. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord show you mercy. I'll leave it at that. Go. Now for all of you, in the name of Jesus, ah, please don't be embarrassed. The Lord is giving me a very serious God bless you. I prayed for you. Please, you can go back. Now, there is something serious I want to pray for now. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. But there is someone here. There is a spirit that is not, you are not a bad person. But when this spirit comes on you, you can steal anything, even if it's inside the bank. You are not a, a, you are not a wicked person. This is an addiction you have fought and fought and fought. It's not like you're a criminal, but this thing has brought you embarrassment. I want to pray for that person now. I usually would not, I would just ask you to save yourself and sit down somewhere, but I want to pray for that person. Please, if you're here, don't waste our time. God wants to bring you deliverance now. This addiction of stealing. You came here sincerely and it's in your heart. Come and stand though. Let's appreciate them as if there's someone like that coming. Praise the Lord. 
Please, when you identify them, allow them, if they are coming from outside this place, let them come to stand. I want to pray for them very quickly. Very quickly. Can be male or female. When it has to do with demons, it doesn't matter whether you are. Please. God bless you, my dear brother. You are not the only one. I want to pray. This is a family of faith. In fact, hold on. Let me use the opportunity right now. This is a family of faith. And I'm not going to mention any particular thing, but if you are a victim of any kind of addiction, any kind, addiction is something that has control over you. When it comes upon you, you have no control until it destroys you. Come and stand here right now quickly. God wants to set you free. Quickly, please come and stand. God bless you. Anything at all. Addiction is destroying people. Don't sit back there. You know that this is your chance. Come and stand before Jesus. And while you stand, be praying. Don't just be looking at me. Please hear me. You don't have to come. If you have a child, you should... If you are the one who is who is the victim of this please come the Lord will be setting you free but if you are standing for someone maybe your spouse or a child or whatever please just sit where you are for the sake of space move forward small those of you in front they are so are you, are you seeing look at this now this is not to condemn them listen my my beloved people look at me we are a family that loves Jesus and loves you passionately it is the job of the church to build and to help. So there is nothing to be embarrassed about. Just make sure that as you are coming, you are really sincere to be free. Quickly come. Addictions, my God. Setting up the same, your name is to be hallowed. Now, listen, please look at me. Let me explain to you something. Listen carefully, our viewers around the world, and then you who is here. Please, if you are following also online and you are a victim of any kind of addiction, this is your chance to connect. All those people coming from where now? Please, um, if, if, the, if the hall is full, they can just stand where they are or, if, okay, those who are already inside, they can just stand in the straight line there and then others can stand in front of their LEDs. It's the same effect. If not, this place will soon be rowdy. Let's just take it easy. Please, protocol, be easy with them so that no one... People, you see, these precious people are coming because they are tired. Can I tell you, counseling can only go so far. In helping addictions drunkenness masturbation pornography every kind of thing they are spirits and let me tell you the truth it is not about being good or bad it's about being a victim of wicked spirits these spirits are territorial I'm sorry to say it but most of them come from social media most of them come from movies that sometimes we just expose our spirits in the name of westernization and we pack all kinds of demonic luggages you gather 10 people and i can tell you seven out of every 10 people are suffering addictions but can i tell you you came here for a miracle service because some of you let me tell you what happens look up please let me teach you how these spirits work you see the moment a great door is about to open, that urge comes. And the moment, whether it is drunkenness, whatever, that door is closed forever. Ah, Hallelujah. Hold on. There is, there is one person here, you inject yourself. Who is that? Let me see your hands. Like, I'm seeing a syringe. Now, I don't know if the, 
injection with what? But I don't know if it's inside. Or, don't be afraid. Who is that? I'm seeing something that has to do with a syringe. Who is that? Help this lady. I hope she's not falling under the anointing. Like a syringe, like giving yourself shots of injection, literal injection. I don't know what you are injecting. There are people who snuff this thing they use to fix tire of car. What is it called? Huh? Now, do you think any right thinking human being with his brain will go and bend down to snuff that thing? It's a spirit. Now, do you know why? This is a lesson to the body of Christ. Most of these people you see have at least one Christian near them. But this, our obsession for condemnation is why people just keep quiet and suffer in silence. Nobody wants to be stigmatized and to be made. You think these people standing are wicked people? Some of them are more sincere and honest than most people you know. Until the body of Christ returns to the place of love, genuine love, we will keep losing our people to Satan. Let me tell you, all of you who are standing here, I want you to know that number one, I love you sincerely. And number two, you will be delivered now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand. Repeat this prayer after me loud. And at the end of it, I'm going to pray for you. Those standing anywhere at all. And then those outside, those maybe addictions following. Um, respectfully speaking, I know that many of our Western people who are connecting... Please don't think because you are in America or Europe, a spirit is a spirit. Addiction is addiction. And you can open, mama, you can stand in for your child. Parents, you can stand in for your loved ones. Say after me, Father, have mercy on me. Say it again, Father, have mercy on me. Say in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus I, declare, I declare as an act of my will, of my will that, the that the spirit responsible, responsible for, this for this addiction by my God-given authority, God authority I choose life I choose, life. I choose freedom I choose from, that from that spirit therefore, therefore from tonight I declare, I declare my liberty, my liberty. in Jesus name. Jesus name get ready the power of God is coming on you right now at the count of three Satan you had your confession the Bible says for with the mouth confession is made unto salvation they have declared their liberty at the count of three every spirit responsible for any kind of addiction at the count of three go now one Two, three, go, go, go. Out of their destinies. Out of their destinies. Parakatoshkadia. I break that addiction. Go forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. And every altar servicing that addiction. In the name of Jesus, I come against you now. Anything you cannot control has become a God over you. Be free now. Be free now. Now look at me. Just two instructions to help you. For those of you who have listened to my teaching on the mystery of deliverance, there are three stages to total deliverance. And I'll be, I'll be teaching you. We're soon getting to the series. Number one is freedom from the spirit influence that is back of whatever issue of concern number two is called deliverance through transformation that means your mind has to be exposed to renewal and then number three is called the discipline of conformity you have a role to play say for instance if yours is drunkenness and then you still go back to the bar Chances are excellent that when you see all your friends and colleagues and you see those bottles of beer sweating in the cold brought out of 
uh, uh, the freezer, you will go back in, in, in that thing again. Can I tell you, change your friends. Did you hear what I said? Ch don't insult anybody, but change your friends. Some of you, you don't have one good friend. One good friend. A friend to a thief is what? Are we together? So I beseech you by the mercies of God, now that you have received this, please be grounded in the house of God. Go to Koinonia Global, you can get the teachings, listen to them for your renewal. This is, not, this is a battle for your destiny. Number two, you can on Tuesdays, our prayer department meets at the DOA, uh, you can, whether you are a member of prayer band or not, you can come even if it's just for two weeks and come and stretch with them and learn and allow the spirit of grace to help you in the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone among you people standing here. You are soon going back to your seat. But there's somebody that God needs to deliver from anger. You can use your physical hand and kill when you are angry. It's not you. It's a spirit. It's about to leave you now. Don't worry. You don't have to tell me you are the one. If you are the one, the anointing will look for you now. Huh? Anger. Like I'm not talking of just this rage. You literally can hold a human being. And until that person dies, you will not leave him. It's not normal. Remember what I taught you. Right now, every wicked spirit, male or female, I don't care what every spirit of anger. Can I tell you? Look at this. Look at this. Listen. Do you know when people come to me for counseling or they are ready to get married, before I start asking them any question, the first thing is proper deliverance from these things. When you marry somebody, you are marrying everything they came with. The assignment of a man of God is to help you edit those wicked things before you get into your home. That's why you see men who can get angry and tear their wives into pieces and say sorry and do it again. Or you can see a woman who will carry hot water from the, from the pot and, put, and spray it on her husband and say sorry and do it again. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of anger, not just for those who are out here, but for everyone here. If there is anyone who is a victim of the spirit of anger, right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be delivered now. In the name of Jesus. Now please, let's be patient and appreciate them as they quickly return to their seats. Please, let there be... Huh? The person injecting himself, who is that? This lady, oh my God. Let the rest go, let she can stay. Please stay darling, I'll pray with you right now. Eh? The devil is a liar, in the name of Jesus Christ. Those under the anointing can stay, please the rest. If you are moving, please move quickly. We are still, we are about to pray for the sick now. Is someone seeing what God is doing in this place this night? Your name is to be alone. Where are you from, my dear? From Edo State. You are from Edo State? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. You believe that Jesus can set you free? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. Whatever spirit makes you to inject yourself, as painful as injection is, so you can see. It has to be a spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, please look at me, don't feel bad. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I command now that spirit and that influence, it leaves you forever. Yeah. Is someone agreeing with me over this lady? You see, the secret, hold on please, and, and we teach this in, in the school of ministry. One of the secrets of ministering effectively is to put yourself in the shoes of people. It's called compassion. Compassion fuels the anointing. If you, are, if you, are, if, if you imagine that this is your sister or your daughter or your wife, 
or your relative, then compassion will well up within you. For as long as you think this is some stranger somewhere, she's from a do state and I am here from another place, you will not be able to help people that way. In the name of Jesus, as the house of God, we declare you free. Yeah. As the house of God, we declare you delivered. Yeah. We will never lose you to Satan. Yeah. The Lord is showing you mercy. Yeah. In Jesus' name I pray. Yeah. Amen and amen. Let's pray for the sick now. Let's pray for the sick. Please look up. Why is the healing ministry important? Let me teach you something very quickly and then we'll pray for the sick. Why is the healing ministry important? I will tell you why. Because every man is spirit. Please look up. Man is spirit. And every spirit resides legally. If it is to function in the earth here, it resides in a body. Are we together? And for as long as you have a body, you have the legitimate ground, the authorization to function within the earth. Whatever deteriorates your body to a point where it no longer becomes functional is administering death to you because there is a threshold level of health that your body must have for your spirit to be able to safely reside within it. Are we together now? The assignment of Satan is to ultimately lead you to that point of separation by deteriorating your health condition. It can come in any form. So when your health is deteriorated beyond a certain threshold, what happens to you? Satan now ensures that your body is separated from your spirit. So every time we minister healing, it is a way of preserving your life so that you will have that body to be able to serve the purposes of God. He says, a body has thou prepared for me. Are we together? Except through understanding, as you age and as time passes because of the wear and tear of this body, Naturally, medical people begin to tell us that you will begin to see certain things. And I have found out that about the most common of these things for men, prostrates, high blood pressure, uh, what do we call it again, paralysis, and all these things. Um, what do we call this sickness where your mind is not coordinated again? You start forgetting things and all of that. You see that now. And then, of course, women, it comes as all kinds of things. But I want you to make up your mind. I know there are doctors here. I respect you and I respect whatever it is that you have studied. I want you to believe that the word of God becomes the definition for your life. For as long as you start believing some of these things, they subliminally start programming you. I am 50 now. I expect enlarged prostrate. And the devil says, you are, thank you for welcoming it. And you receive it by faith. Are we together? You have a right to reject anything at all that is not of God. Reject it. And stand with faith and in faith. Why am I saying this? So that when we are praying for the sick, you don't say, since my own condition does not necessitate admission in the hospital, I am fine. Remember what I taught you about the devil? The moment he tests you and you allow him unrestrained, he will move further to bring another version of that thing. So right now that I want to pray for the sick, please, I want you to release your faith that anything that does not represent God's design for you as revealed in Scripture, it is time for it to leave. Is someone in agreement? Please rise up on your feet. While that is happening, how many of you have your prayer requests here? All the overflows to the basement outside, those following online now we'll do two things at the same time number one is our ushers will be collecting the prayer request now what I want you to do please still write if there are things you need to write I'll give you one minute very quickly you want to add something your faith has been enlarged and you still want to add one or two things write it down quickly and then pass it may I request that you pass it 
to someone maybe by your left and right let there be one person who has nobody will read your request just pass it for ease ushers please you can begin to walk around very quickly so that we'll collect it if you're still writing just take a minute or two and write believing the lord to step in for you you heard what the lord did in the life of our dear one who testified writing something in the prayer request unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come very quickly very quickly medical reports terminal situations unfavorable conditions for you your children parents spouse company business church the Bible says be anxious for nothing but in everything so there is nothing that should be left out of the scope of prayer in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says let your request be made known unto god let your request be made known unto god be anxious for nothing philippians chapter 4 we start reading from verse 6 you find that and it says and the peace of god will garrison your heart and your mind very quickly now i want to pray for the sick listen I have seen the healing power of Jesus. I was so touched by the testimony of our dear sister. Look the miracle that Jesus did for her husband. Literally, from the dead, and then correction, brand new organs. The mighty God is able to do this. I want to pray for you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now please, lay your hands why do i ask you to lay your hands as a point of contact it's a way of releasing your faith before god stepped in we're talking about the three components that must be present to create an atmosphere of the supernatural one is passion for god and complete surrender number two we agreed that the second key that i wrote here is deep heartfelt worship number three is faith now you are about to exercise your faith I hope you know that faith is simply obedience obedience to the Word of God obedience to the demands that commit God to your life without action you are not walking by faith it's as simple as that faith is more than confession faith is more than believing faith is your action now here's what I want you to do we are not going to take too much time the moment I begin to pray for you others as you fell under the power of God miracles began to happen to you all kinds of supernatural connection cor um, corrections do you know why we ask people to come out when they are healed it's not just to show that the man of God is powerful no you see it, it, with all humility at, at this point in ministry there is nothing to prove again God has honored himself beyond contention but the goal is in coming out to testify three things happen number one you help the people to see the power of God on display truthfully number two it acts as a seal to what you have done are we together the Bible says we overcame them by the blood of the lamb and by the word yes the word of your testimony is part of the weapons of your overcoming so I'm going to pray for you right now all the overflows outside following all our viewers across the globe as I pray for you right now immediately I want you to begin to send in your testimonies for those of you who are out outside of uh, the local environment and for those who are here the moment I ask you to come out to come and testify do not be afraid do not be ashamed I want you to come out we'll take a few testimonies then we'll pray over re the requests and I prophesy into your life are you ready now please lay your hands and begin to pray one minute Jesus step in for me with your mercy over whatever condition it is mention it please pray don't tolerate anything that does not look like Jesus I'm beginning to lose hearing don't tolerate it 
I'm suffering the issue of blood. Don't tolerate it. I'm beginning to have whatever symptoms. Don't tolerate it. It looks like I'm having heart palpitations, breathing problems. Don't tolerate it. Lumps all over my body. Don't tolerate it. Talk to Jesus. Jesus, step in. Step in over my life. Step in over my destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In one of the visions that I had, as God began to release me into the ministry, I saw I was in a place and it was like the hospitals were closed. It was like a curfew. But then there were people lying down, some sick, some lifeless, you know, just littered across an open space. And I was outside and I saw them. I felt very, very terrible and irritated by their conditions. And they were looking up to me and it was in the night and it looked like these people were hoping that I would do something and I heard a voice that voice spoke to me and he said to heal them and that is why what opened me up to the healing ministry I really believe in the power of Jesus to heal I believe I believe he heals he heals he healed yesterday he's healing now and he will heal forever the healing ministry is one of the cardinal components that puts the power of God on display are you ready now let's pray the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy 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 are you lord the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy holy jesus something is happening here I'll sing it one more time. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. I was given an example about this enlarged prostrate, but it's not just an example. The Spirit of God is ministering to me that He's healing someone of that condition right now. It's beginning to happen to you. This thing happened from when you were around 55. It started. All of the symptoms that show an enlarged prostrate. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare. Everyone here who has any blood condition. You've seen Jesus change genotypes here. You've seen Jesus remove all kinds of things from your blood. Every stranger in your blood that should not be there, in the name of Jesus, I flush them out now. I flush them out now. Be healed right now. Migraine headaches, the Lord is healing migraines. Very severe migraine. Be healed now. Every damaged organ in your body, we declare a brand new organ now. The pelvic area for someone You've had severe, severe pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is bringing you life and healing right now. Please believe it, you are receiving something right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Eye conditions. For one of you, you are just beginning to see it, symptoms of, of, of a very severe eye problem. And for others, it's been there for a while. It does not matter how long 
I command eyes be open now. Honestly, I'm sensing a very, very strong anointing. There's someone your chest, your chest, that demonic thing around your chest, I declare be released from it now. This is, this is not like you have fever, but many times your tongue just tastes bitter. Very, very bitter for reasons you do not know. And the moment that thing happens, it comes with ill health. It looks like a, a severe case of typhoid, but you've treated it, it's returned. You've treated it, it's returned. It's a demonic thing. Right now, I stretch my hands. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every blood condition, I'm repeating it again. HIV. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Hepatitis, be healed now. Sugar diabetes, be healed now. Severe waist pain. The Lord is healing severe waist pain. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, I don't know what it is, at this side of your neck. As soon as I'm done praying, I want you to check yourself. You will see that a miracle has happened right now. Let that demonic growth leave you now. There is someone, you're not in the main auditorium, but you are losing your teeth. I've prayed over this kind of condition before. Something is happening and it's like your, your teeth, your gums or whatever is weakening. And if you have been pulled out already, and I'm seeing that more of it is, is like it's weak. The power of God right now is bringing you healing and restoration. Now, anyone who is on crutches, anyone who is using an aid to walk, I declare life and strength to your limbs now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every deafness, partial deafness, total deafness, I command that ear to be opened now. Someone, there is like a growth in your truth, but it's inside. It's not like thyroid, but I don't know what it is. It looks like, it, it, it looks to me from what I'm seeing, like it's a boil, but it's inside you with severe pain. Not, it, it looks like tonsillitis, but it's not tonsillitis. Wherever you are right now, as I'm praying, the power of God is resting upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every joint pain, hear the word of the Lord, I declare be healed now. Now every other situation, whether I mentioned it or not, in the name of Jesus Christ, I am praying for you. Inside, outside, everywhere, I bring you life and healing in Jesus' name. Life and healing in Jesus' name. Life and healing in Jesus' name. I want you to check yourself right now, everywhere. Check yourself, I want us to celebrate miracles for a few minutes. Check yourself, the moment you find out that something has happened to you now, or as at the time I was praying, my God, I'm seeing people coming out. Celebrate them very quickly. You find out that a miracle has happened. Please, I want you to be bold. Walk to the front right now and there will be people here to receive you. Let's take a few testimonies. Please, very quickly. Koinonia, is this what you are doing? Is this the best you can do? Check yourself very quickly. Miracles are happening right now. Do what you couldn't do before. Stretch, stand, walk. Let someone speak over you. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing here? I believe Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. You're the Son of God. Lord, I believe. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. You're the Son of God. One more time. We believe, say. 
Jesus is bringing miracles. We believe you're the Son of God. Hallelujah. Are we ready? Yes, sir. God bless you. All right, Apostle. please listen very carefully to these testimonies. Hallelujah. Whilst you are listening, the power of God is also touching you. And those of you who have received miracles from across the globe, do well to send in your testimonies immediately. Are we together? I want you to believe in every declaration that we'll be making here. It is not, we're not acting. This is not just some show. Believe me, you will get answers to this request. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over these requests and I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead that these Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. Every spirit that is back of these tragedies, we declare, let judgment come upon them now. In the name of... Mike, that is working. Praise the Lord. Okay, thank you. For those of you who have put timing, timing to your requests, in the name of Jesus, it will not delay by a day. Let me repeat it again. If you have put timing on your request, I prophesy to you it will not delay by one day. Whoever has vowed that this request will not be answered, in the name of Jesus, we overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn. And we give you what is rightfully yours. Every system and every structure that needs to come under the influence of the Spirit for this request to be answered, we put pressure on them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stand upon this prophetically and I decree and declare. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never be an issue of concern for you again. The Lord gave us an instruction to come with any point of contact. Lift it up now. If you came with any point of contact, your credentials, your whatever it is. Now, this is not ritual. We are doing this based on the understanding that we are bringing a token, a point of contact. Whatever, you can lift your hands if there's nothing. In your home, whatever. Anything that is a point of contact. Please believe. Believe in prophetic instructions. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. I stretch my hands over these points of contact, whether it is your credentials, whether it is your employment letter, whether it is your, your business, whatever, whether it is a court case, whether it is a summon from the court, whether it is a real estate project, a project with institutions, systems, and structures, whether it is papers for your ministry, papers for travels, in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, prophetically, I lay my hands on every one of these contacts and I declare, I command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you. I command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you. The Bible says, for everyone that asketh, receive. To him that seeketh, he shall find. And to him that knocketh, the door shall be opened. Every closed door over these things lifted. I stand by the power of the prophetic and I command those doors to be opened now. Hear me. For some of you, after this service, they will call you. And by that call, you will know you have stepped into a new season.
everyone lifting your credentials by faith trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus Christ we shift every space that needs to be shifted and we create space for you for all those who are holding legal documents in the name of Jesus if there be anything against you we plead mercy and if anyone is lifting a medical report or anything of that sort in the name of Jesus Christ for you or for whoever you are standing in for let there be a testimony now I declare those documents anointed I declare them graced may they produce results for you in Jesus name I pray now please listen listen I, it just it just occurred to me I don't know why I didn't say it the whole of the month of March we are going to be dealing with the subject of deliverance demonology and spiritual warfare listen I told you that I want to teach you this I want to settle down please open your spirit by the grace of God God is going to be opening our eyes there is a lot of ignorance in the body of Christ as to the operation of demons foundations yokes destinies the mystery of the blood how to command and walk in perpetual victory the time has come so the entire month of March we're going to be dealing with this extensively let your hearts be open our global family be sure to God is going to be giving us explanations and he will be making sense out of the things around our lives in the name of Jesus Christ but for now let me speak over your destiny favor let it begin to speak for you honor let it begin to speak for you speed let it begin to speak for you may every closed door be opened now let every disappointment be turned to your testimony in the name of Jesus May the hearts of your destiny help us be open for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. I pray over your hands. The spirit of poverty, of lack and of shame, of not enough. I come by the power of prophecy and I declare shift to the realm of abundance. By the spirit of grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you travel, I decree and declare you heard the gentleman who said or, or is it the lady from the airport entered a cab and someone just drove with them into the forest can I tell you if it will be for your kidnap you will not enter that car if that plane will crash you will not be inside but if you are inside may it never crash In the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you and I pray for your loved ones anyone who has been marked to be a victim of kidnapping a victim of whatever demonic thing we send angels ahead to stand before them in the mighty name of Jesus and based on the revelation that God showed here we pray for our judicial system in this nation that everything that is a conspiracy that is not of God that wants to crumble the judicial system we plead the blood in the name of Jesus may the Lord show mercy over our judicial system in the name of Jesus dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The face of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.